Let's see if I remember how to do this. Uh, decided to do a, ne a new LP because I haven't done one in a while for various reasons. Um, the biggest of being that uh, right after the last LPO finished, I uh, my computer pretty much died. Power supply went out and the video card went out. It took me a while to actually, you know, scrape together the money to replace these parts. So, kind of fast forwarded through the beginning because, as you know, if you have a Konami logo in the beginning of your uh, game, most of the time you'll get marked for copyright infringement. This game is uh, Tiny Toon Adventures, Buster Bust Loose for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, I was interested in doing a Tiny Toons game back before B. Poner did his, but um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this one or the Genesis one, which is uh, Buster's Hidden Treasure. Um, I decided to do this one because this is actually beatable for me. Buster's Hidden Treasure, Jesus, go away Roderick Rat. Um, Buster's Hidden Treasure takes a while to actually beat. And uh, even though it's made by Treasure, I just don't don't want to play that long of a platforming game because um, pretty soon I will be involved in the LPO2. Oh shit! Um, and oh shit! I'll be uh, busy judging that since uh, it doesn't matter if people know I'm the judge because Fatka kind of outed us all. Which is different, I guess. I mean, we all can't be Koopa, dude. So, Buster has a plethora of basic moves. Um, his flip jump, which will kill anything it touches, which is kind of cheap because if you're in this motion, you'll just kill everything. Um, he has a spin, I mean, he has a uh, dash, and he has just a normal jump. Now we're up to five hearts, full health. Shit. Shit. But, um... I used to be a... Oh, I used to be an actual member of this fandom. Um, and if you look really hard and you know my actual name... Oh, let me kill him first. Alright. Um, if you know my actual name and, and you, know, you can use the Googles, you can probably find fanfiction that I've written that's, uh pretty bad, but at the time I was only, uh, I think 16, I think 16, 17, still at that awkward young, let me, I know there's something up there, probably just a regular carrot, it, nope, she ain't shit up there, I just looked foolish, Whee! um, I think it was 16 at the time, which, you know, a little bit different than 18 and watching, I mean 28 and watching ponies, you know. Which I don't, I do not, I do not hate nor like My Little Pony. I've never watched it and I'm not shitting on that fandom, but it's a, it's a different time. Hampton J. Pig. Which, if Hampton had actually had kids with Fifi, it would have been very odd. You would have had stinky pigs. But, yeah, the, the whole basis of Tiny Toon Adventures is, uh, first boss here, Dizzy feed him. That's how you do in this boss fight. Let's see. Shit, don't go that way. Come on, eat that. Um, the whole base of Tiny Toons is that like it's the younger generation, which is funny because they ended up rebooting uh, Looney Tunes anyway. Shit. I'm to get behind you. Oh. You didn't make the jump because you're destroying the belts. Um, they rebooted Tiny, I mean Looney Tunes anyway, and then uh, I remember for a long time that uh, everybody's big hard on was to put Lola in every freaking story, and now that she's actually officially like recognized and they put her in cartoons and shit, it's kind of I don't know. Fandoms are weird. It's a bunch of people who are lonely and uh, dead yet. It's a bunch of people who like something but just like don't have many friends to talk with it about. So they kind of just cling together. Which is fine. I mean, if you don't have anybody else, but... I mean, good lord knows I don't. Fucking... See, Dizzy, you did this to yourself. Alright, busting up these, these freaking vents. These belts. And now you can't get to nothing. I 
I will say that I like the NES Tiny Toons a little bit better. I mean, I've played a lot of them. I like the NES Tiny Toons better than this. Dizzy Fool, Dizzy Go Sleep. With his different colored eyes. And Hampton. Hampton, everything is okay. Dizzy fell asleep. Look at blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I froze in a freaking kitchen. Get him. The NES one I like better. The Super Nintendo one's pretty good. The Genesis one. The Game Boy, not color. Game Boy, black and white, is pretty good as well. And then, uh... I have the PS1, uh, one of the PS1 games, because they released a whole bunch. Um, which is kind of weird, because I'm sure when they released them, Tiny Toons wasn't even on the air anymore. Yeah, squash! Actually, I pretty much suck at this bonus game, but whatever. Whatever. I do what I want. Yeah. I wanted to do an LP just so I could get off of fucking League of Legends. Jesus. I'm really addicted, and, like, I've tried other things to, you know, kind of just get off of it. It's not, it's not really working. I need, like, a 12-step program. All right. See how many one-ups I can't get. It should eat and grin. I don't remember what happens. If, I know if you hit... If you hit, uh... The Roadrunner. I think it's... Yeah, one up. Wow. Kind of crushing the shit out of this. What the fuck? As Hampton has his... Alright. Wow. Actually a decent amount of one up. So usually I just miss this ball all over the place. What does it be if you hit him? I can't remember. Come back, Coyote. I wish to hit you. One of them stops the time, I think. What the fuck? What kind of ball physics was that? Fucking Bungie. At least the graphics are really nice in this game. I kind of forget with my rose tinted glasses how great Super Nintendo graphics were. Yeah! Furball was supposed to be like Sylvester's replacement, but, but Furball didn't really talk all that much. So I don't see how. Are you used to the controls yet? Uh. Yes. Fine. Fine, Basta. Tell me how to use my controls. Actually, this stage isn't too bad. Um, I think if you beat this game on uh, pretty much insane difficulty, there's a way, there's an extra ending, but I've never been able to actually beat the game that way because you only start with one heart, and then some levels they don't give you a. They give you a, they don't give you a heart at all, so you just have one hit the whole game. And then like this mini game is hard as shit, cause uh, it goes so fast that you're pretty much not gonna beat it. Which I think if he jumps completely over the rope, I think he's cheating. One, zero. Goodbye, little Mexican men. You kings of oh, I'm fucking buzzards bomb diving me. Don't you come in here? You come looking for trouble, cause you're gonna fight. I forget the name of the dog. Don't sue me. I think he was only featured in like a couple episodes anyway. And then uh, I remember when they stopped making regular Tiny Teens episodes, they gave the Plucky Duck show, and uh, that was just recycled material. Oh sweet Jesus! Keep coming down here, buddy. Yeah. And then uh, towards the end, they actually, I don't remember if he left or if they fired him, but uh, the voice actor for Buster Bunny left the show and uh, was replaced by the Crypt Keeper. So, and I only say this because, you know, it's Tuesday, 8-21-2012, and they just released uh, Tiny Toon Adventures uh, Vacation on uh, DVD for the first time. And uh, the only other person that knew about it was uh, Spider K, and I'm sure that he's just going to record over his, you know, VHS, record that to digital, which is, oh shit, which is a pain in the ass, let me tell you, right, yeah, if those nets catch you, they'll just kill you, they'll just take you to the edge of the screen and kill you, um, the whole, like, converting your VHS tapes to DVD, uh, sucks, if you don't have the right VCR, because my VCR is only mono output, uh, audio, so if you've actually looked on my channel and seen that Final Fantasy anime episode, um, that's what happens when you only have a mono VCR. And I'm sure that's what would happen if I actually got around to buying a Laserdisc player and uh, converting those Star Wars episodes. Fuck you! 
if you hold your ears like this, see, and they go down. I think that's a riff on the old, do you like my ears up or down? And now we just get to the wacky part of the stage where just shit starts going. Like, that, that's not physics. See how it's still straight? Get out of here. Oh no, we gon' die! I used to fuck that jump up so much when I was a little kid. Well, I wasn't actually a little kid, I think I was 14. Which, I don't know. How you want to define, like, this right now, we're fucked. Dash jump! I kinda like this music. And it's nice that, like... I mean, it might be. Oh shit. Barely. Um, it might be an actual, like, small riff off of the, uh, regular Tiny Tune Adventure. Yeah, it is. But, it's different enough to not have to have that song pounded in my head for 15 minutes. Oh lord, the lights! I think this is where the fat guy comes in. Yep. I'm from Yale, and I'm from Harvard. Get out of here, you hobo. No homeless people on my show. Well, they can be, but, you know. Oh god, we're back again. You don't want none of Marv. Don't get too, don't get too cocky there, because the screen will scroll you off and kill you. I actually meant to do this for a, uh, Let's Play in One Sitting back when, oh, fucking Molester Magician? See, what you want to do with him is, like, make him come out here, and then you want to kill him. Just because... God damn, take a lot of hits. Okay. If you stand over his dead body, you'll get all the stars at once, rather than have some of them scrolling off screen. But... Oh, yes, these jumps. Yes, I remember this pain now. Oh, shit. Ooh. Go. Oh, thank God. Hey, fucking dog, throwing bricks. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Bricks or wood, whichever you want to prefer. I was gonna do this in a, a for a let's play in one sitting, but uh, no, no, no. I didn't have the uh, the tenacity that that Mr. DZ does. Get up here. Just because you avoid some enemies in there that you can't see. Yeah, the only LPOIO. Let's play in one sitting I could actually do was Friday the 13th. Just because I knew I could beat that in a... And now the train pod, the train boss. It's the only bug game I could beat in like one sitting without being like three hours long. But some of that stuff's pretty good. I'm, I'm kind of sad we stopped doing it. Fuck you! I don't know what that would be on a train because I've never seen a train go down the track with just fire coming out of it. It's usually a steam engine or coal burning engine. Do, do, do. Oh, he takes his first hit, and there actually is a little bit of a, a need for uh, speed with this, because if you don't, if you don't blow this shit up before the screen scrolls you, you're dead. You are D E A D dead. There's actually a, a band episode of this Tiny Tune Adventures uh, that I remember seeing when it came out on TV on Fox, but. I don't remember seeing it ever again. Um, the beer episode, they actually, uh, Hampton, Plucky, and Buster get drunk and uh, go and drunk drive and then get killed. And uh, it was like one of the, the hey kids, you shouldn't drink type things. Kind of like the, uh, there's a Ren and Stimpy where they get adopted and like the guy, the guy that adopts them beats them mercilessly and at the end of the episode they kill him. Ooh. Getting hit by the steam. There's a t there's a part here at the end that uh I had a a stick a joystick that I had gotten from Sam's Club that came with uh oh shit go 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 I almost died there damn that uh you could use turbo to just kind of power through and I'm gonna be a man this time and I'm gonna beat this shit as Buster dances and Montana Max says fucking we're on fire. Somebody help me. The train is out of control. He's always causing trouble. Oh, okay, let's get out of here. Only if you give me one kiss. Mwah. What button is it you need to hit? I forget. Okay, no, I forget. The, the train bumps you. Bink. 
honestly forget what button it was. 88 miles per hour! That's how it's done, ladies. That's how it's done. Do this bonus stage. Sorry to keep you waiting, it's game time. We get that blah blah blah. Um Don't give me the cat one. That's all I'm asking. Don't give me don't give me Sylvester's again. You're gonna give me no oh, no no oh, weight challenge. Game is mystery weight challenge, you have a chance to get F5. Alright, so the the whole thing with this bonus game is they give you in ascending order um, from lightest to heaviest people and you try to beat the other side with a heavier person what I like to do is just blow sweetie right at the beginning just to try to draw out because if you match see like he's used his heaviest person so okay I lost that one at the very best you can hope to try to tie with sweetie because she's not going to beat anybody Babs is heavier than, than Little Roadrunner, so I get extra life for that. Plucky is heavier than the mouse, I get that one too. That's two out of three. I think they're even. Nope, nope. Whoa. And then, because he's already blown max, I'm going to win this one. Yep. Elvira. Ah, creepy. So I got three lives off of that. And which the, what's the next level? Okay, this level is a little long, so we're gonna cut here. And next time when we pick up on Tiny Toon Adventures Buster Bust Loose, we go through a uh, haunted house and play a football game. So we will see you later.